Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we have a vintage short Penguin Cygnus aluminum block petrol lighter. This lighter shows some scuffs, scratches, maybe a dinged corner. Hard to tell on some of those. This is the lighter that I found a couple of days ago here at a local antique mall in Oklahoma City with advertising for Southern Motors Inc. I looked this company up on Google and there are currently a couple of car dealerships, at least a couple that are in business and at least for uh, one of them I could say still in business since before this lighter was produced. There is an old car company, in other words used cars in Michigan but that particular company I think has only been in business since the late 70s or early 80s, I think late 70s and I don't think that this lighter would have fallen that late. I think this lighter was probably produced in the 50s, maybe the 60s. The other car dealership by this name, Southern Motors, neither one I don't think particularly at least were listed on Google as Southern Motors Incorporated, but the other one was in Springfield Georgia and purported to have been in business since 1929. So this could have been that company, possible, that did some advertising in the 1950s or 60s, but I'm not telling you that it is. There might have been others still in business that I missed, or this could have been another one that was in business back then but is no longer. They didn't afford us the luxury of an address, a state, phone number, anything that might give us a clue. This is a very nice lighter even though it is used. And I don't make a habit out of using my advertising Cygnuses that are in my personal collection simply because I'm not trying to wear off the paint on that cool advertisement right there. But I do want to demonstrate that the lighter works, show you the condition that it's in before it goes on the shelf with all the others. The flint tension mechanism on this one is very smooth. And we installed new flint in it. We cleaned up the chimney or windscreen area, whatever you would call it. I think I would call it a chimney on a roller lighter. Not much of a windscreen there, although you could say that that's forming a screen there on that side. So, whatever however you want to call it. I cleaned that up. Snuffer snaps tight. Very nice. It's got a really nice fuel screw that has a spare flint compartment which has a new flint in it. And the gasket is not original to this lighter. 
I took it off what I think was a little bit older style Cygnus that had the script Cygnus logo on it, a spare that I had in my collection in my Cygnus clinic. and took it off of the spare and put it on this one. Pretty much had to thread it off of the other one and thread it down onto this one, which nothing wrong with that. The wadding looks maybe a little bit stale, kind of yellowish, but the lighter seems to function just fine. That fuel screw is marked Penguin, patent 364149, and Cygnus. Kind of hard to see there. It's always cooler if there's some kind of graphic to go along with the advertising, a logo, something like that. But for this just to be the second short Cygnus that I have found with advertising on it, and to find it here locally for a $10 bill is fantastic. Talked before about the short models. Of the Cygnus and the fact that they are not my favorite lighters to use. They're so short, very hard to get a grip on, very hard to gain purchase and still maneuver the lighter, still actuate the mechanism. But my hands are pretty bad and I still figured it out so most of you could probably figure out and use one of these short Cygnuses, no problem. I did get a comment from May Just May on the short that I published of this lighter a few days ago, saying what a cool lighter it was, but how tiny. And it is. Doesn't take much imagination to figure out. I don't have huge hands. And this lighter doesn't even cover up three fingers. Definitely fits inside the palm of my hand. But this is at least a half a dozen or so of the short models that I own. But like I said, only the second with advertising, which I'm very glad to add to the collection. Until next time.